<clears throat> 29th of January 2021 is when the tender is due for 170 elephants to be purchased in Namibia. So the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism have put a tender on the street for people, anyone, hunters, hunting organizations, NGOs, celebrities, to be able to purchase 170 elephants that due to drought and human wildlife conflict need to be moved. Now, why is Blood Origins, a pro-hunting organization, talking about this tender? Because we can't hunt them. See, that's where I think people forget what hunting organizations and hunters want to do. We want to conserve wildlife. So we're keenly interested in seeing how we can do this. How could we tender for one of these lots, 30 elephants or 50 elephants or 60 elephants? They come in four different lots. How can we tender for them? How can we take those elephants and move them to the DRC where elephants are needed, to Angola where elephants are needed, to the Congo where elephants are needed, or even to somewhere in South Africa? It costs money, lots of money. So here's my offer. Blood Origins, we want to do this, but we don't have half a million sitting around. That's what it's going to cost. Not the cost of the tender of the elephants. The tender of the elephants is probably going to be very, very low in comparison to the location, the quarantine facilities, the transport, all those things wrapped together. It's going to be a hefty, hefty price tag. Not many people can put their money where their mouth is, except people like Ricky Gervais. Hey, Ricky. Why don't you join with us? We can go purchase some elephants and we can move them and we'll film it. We'll do it for you. What do you say? You say that tusks belong on elephants. So here's the opportunity. Let's do it. Other NGOs, PETA, Humane Society of America. How about it? Come join us, help us. Let's go tender for these elephants and let's move them somewhere. Let's go move them to a place where you need more elephants, where the population is low. Let's do it. But unfortunately, just like before, I think there's going to be silence from that side of the spectrum. See, it's going to be up to us. The weight is going to be put onto our shoulders. The people who really, really want to conserve this wildlife. And that's hunters. So how can we do this? Those of you listening to this, share this message. Share it to the people who potentially can help. I think to be able to do this, we need to raise between a quarter million and half a million dollars just for the project alone. January 29th, 2021, we have to put a tender in. So I wonder if we can do it. I hope we can, but it comes with logistics and hope and purpose and determination. And we have all those things. You know, we have all those things. I know that you have all those things. So, can you help? Reach out to us, DM us. If you've got a spare half a million sitting around, let us know and uh, we can see what we can do. I'll end by saying this, Namibia is a bastion for wildlife conservation. They've done such a good job, a yeoman's effort in bringing back their wildlife. Elephant populations back in the 90s were in like the 7,000. Today, there are over 26,000 or close to 30,000 based on the last census. We haven't got last year's census in yet, but we're getting close to 30,000 elephants. So the ministry, through extensive consultations over the last year, have started putting some measures in place. One of those measures is translocation. Translocation is expensive. So can we do this? Can our community do this? Can our community jump up and say, heck yes, let's do this. I don't know. I want to help me.